Hi everybody, it's me, Cheryl Peltekis, also known as The Solutionist, and I've got a quick Tuesday sales tip. So today I was out doing sales calls, and the reason why I chose the accounts that I went to today was all based off of yesterday's referral log. So one of the examples of, a, of what I'm talking about is this, is yesterday in my referral log, we had number one patient, Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith was referred to my organization from a skilled nursing facility. Now, that skilled nursing facility had not referred before, but Mrs. Smith was a previous patient of ours and she wanted to be returned to my organization. So of course, I immediately went to the skilled nursing facility today to do a qualifying sales call, to ask them and find out who do they refer to, how can we become one of their providers? And immediately what I did was this, I said, share with me three things you love about working with your current provider. And she named three things. Then I followed up with saying, share with me three things that you wish you could improve with working with your current provider. And she immediately named three things. She said one was they had a hard time filling patients that were in center city because they didn't have staff that wanted to go into the city. The second one was they had a problem with an insurance X, Y, Z, and that the provider did not accept that insurance. And the third one was something about... Um, the length of time that it took for a therapist to get out to see a patient. With each of the three reasons, when she shared with me the three negatives, but all three times I made sure that I stirred those emotions a little bit. And I said back to them, so share with me. That has to be super frustrating when you call your preferred provider and they cannot accept this insurance. That's got to be a pain. I mean, what do you do for those patients? And then she had shared with me, you know, I have to call back the insurance company. I have to find out what providers I can give it to. And, you know, it can be hours and it could prolong the amount of time that the patient actually stays here. And I said, wow, that's got to be really horrific. Well, um, you know, I, I can't even imagine how frustrating that must be. And then when she said about number two, you know, we won't, they won't do Center City. I said, oh, again, what a nightmare, right? You know, not being able to get somebody and imagine if you've got a patient that's got wound care and they happen to be right in the heart of the city. And now you've got to make extra phone calls because your preferred provider won't do that for you. And then the third one, you know, whatever the, the reason was, oh, the insurance. And of course, you know, she, she went on and on about that one. And I was very easily able to say that's got to be a nightmare not to be able to find somebody and then I said but you know what that insanity all stops today because not only can I give you follow-up make sure that you're aware of the day that they're admitted and um, make sure that we see your patients within 24 hours which were the three things that she said she loved about her preferred provider but I said, we can also service Center City. We can also make sure that physical therapy is out within 24 hours so that you're never stuck in a jam like that with a patient or a family member calling you because they're mad that nobody got there. And of course we can service um, that insurance. We accept every payer in Philadelphia. We're very proud to be serving all of the patients that in Philadelphia, irregardless of who their payer is. So can I ask you, could I have your next patient. Could you ask your next patient if it's okay, if you could give my company a try so you can see how different your experience could be and all of those pains that you've been experiencing with your current provider can be gone. Now, what do you think happened? I walked out of that account with not one, but with three referrals. So that's how just using emotion. That's the power of what a commercial does. Think about how much commercials in less than a minute, it can make an influence of this type of sneaker, where you're eating, the bank that you use, all of that. It does not take a 45 minute sales presentation. It takes identifying what they like, what they hate, mixing up their emotions of that pain and solving their problems. So I hope you can do that too. So listen, solution is here. I am out. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Have a great day. Bye now.